There's trouble in Canada. Okay, this is important. This is too important for a greetings YouTube or a intro. So I was watching a couple of my friends, Alex and Mark, the Tea Project, and I was watching the news about the internet prom. It's getting all exciting now, and... Yeah. Mark, I have just one thing to say to you. Really? 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 I mean... Really? But on to the point, Mark, I just want to say, really? Right, that aside, I've been thinking about this whole internet prom thing, and I was debating about going or not, but I feel when it comes to helping a friend out, you put everything aside for it. So Alex, I'm thinking we should go as friends, because we will have an absolute blast. I mean, simply put, we can have laughs, we can drink tea, we can discuss the theory of relativity, you name it. But also I saw this as a perfect opportunity, because we can help build the good relations between Britain and Canada. I feel they haven't gone so well of late, and we need to rebuild that, and I think we got the perfect opportunity. I mean, we can trade uh, the tea that we sort of import from India and claim as our own uh, for your bacon, because I've heard great things about Canadian bacon. So I'm thinking that we can do this, because I think the last time that Britain and Canada did trades, we sort of did similar, except you gave us your geese. Yeah, we don't want any more Canadian geese, as much as they are lovely, but... I definitely say that we can definitely be on the roll there. If the bacon is non-negotiable, then I suggest having the rights to visit Toronto every Saturday and Calgary on Sunday. So Alex, I'm thinking we should do the friend thing for the prom because who honestly wants to go to proms with dates? So blasé. Especially combinations of hamsters and monkeys. Also, I've been thinking about this and I know what the perfect situation is, what we've got to do with Mark. Mark, I think it's time to put you into the British School of Gentlemanly. Ah oh yes, welcome to the British School of Gentlemanly, where we help create the future of our gentlemen. Here at this place, we help create the finest form of gentleman known to man. We give him a hat and a cane, to the point that we make sure that they are ready for the world today in how they treat their women and amongst other things, such as drinking tea or how to stand on a public transport from one place to another. It is quite fascinating. Look at this young man, he is quite a slob. Watch as we change him into a gentleman. We give him a shirt, a tie, and also show him how to do up the winds or not, because you are only a gentleman if you know how to do up the winds or not. Of course, what good old British folk would be without his pocket watch, jacket, hat, and cane? Now, for those who have very much trouble speaking the English language, we have our ways of whipping our boys into shape. How do you say it again? Uh, something. <laughs> oh! Something, something! So I have this quick insight into our ministry has helped convince you to sign up your man to become the perfect gentleman in this day and age. So feel free to sign your gentleman up to the British School of Gentlemanly. Sign up now, your experience may differ. So, Alex. So what do you say, Alex? Shall we solve this little Canadian crisis with a bit of British help? And for some Canadian bacon? Plus, we'll have an awesome time at the prom, I guarantee it. And Mark, I'll make a gentleman out of you yet.